They say dinosaurs are long gone and are left nothing more than just fossils on this earth. Well, that's where they're wrong. Crocodiles are still here and are fairly similar to how they used to be millions of years ago. These walking, grumbling fossils are masters of the water and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how and what makes these guys the rulers of waters around the globe. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Crocodiles, the dinosaurs that live in the waters to this date. Although the lions are considered the kings of the jungle, but the waters are ruled by the crocodiles. These behemoths weigh almost near a ton and that weight belongs only to mussels as these guys are jam packed with them due to the constant swimming they do. If you think these guys are not strong, then think again. They can propel their heavy bodies a good few meters up into the air if they like. Better keep your hands inside the boat next time, bucko. <laughs> These guys are not picky eaters like many other carnivorous animals. And when I say not picky, I mean they will literally eat anything. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Woo! Even this water buffalo that weighs more than a ton and can easily kill these crocs if they're not careful. Watch as one of these crocodiles matches up against this water buffalo, sizing it up to see if he can eat it or not. Sometimes for bigger prey, crocs usually gang up together to snatch a prey bigger than themselves. But this time, since it's alone, this croc just checks it out and knows better not to tackle it alone. Now these crocs do have a lot of competition within the same waters that they call home. And no, it's not another carnivore, but a big, heavy hippo. These guys do not get along and it is known that these both have been rivals ever since hippos took to the water. As seen in this clip, these guys know better than to engage with each other and end up harming themselves, keeping their distance while sharing a home. The hippos are clearly bigger than the crocodiles and weigh many times their weight, but they're not as agile and nor do they have hundreds of teeth like the crocs do. Although, it is very commonly known that crocodiles do attack and kill the smaller ones for sustenance. Here's the aftermath of one such scenario where a baby hippo was caught between the jaws of death as it got separated from its family group. Several crocs came together and feasted on the carcass as the murky waters turned red from blood. This is also the exact reason why hippos have built up a deep hatred for their neighbor, the crocs. I mean, if someone tried to eat my children, I'd be pretty bummed up about them as well. Can't blame the hippo for this one. Ready? Jeez, are you watching? Look at this Once something gets caught in the vicious jaws of these large reptiles, then there is no going back. Of course, some prey is pretty small, which means they can swallow it down in just one gulp. But then again, most of them are big and crocodiles don't really have the facilities to chew their food before swallowing. So in order to break it down into smaller pieces, they perform their infamous death rolls in which they rip off pieces of meat from their prey and spin around and around in the process. This helps them turn the carcass into bite-sized pieces for them to swallow. Crocodiles may be the world's best chompers, having the most powerful bite force ever measured in a live animal. With a force of over 3,700 pounds per square inch, these modern day dinosaurs can chomp through anything they get in their mouth. Turtle shells are no exception in this case. Watch as the croc breaks down the shell as if it was a sort of sandwich. Footage. 
Sorry at your expense, turtle. Let's just make one thing clear. When it comes to eating, crocodiles can be extremely unpredictable and crazy. These guys don't see what's right in front of them and just bite it down with the, all the life they've got. In this enclosure, there are so many crocs that one of them bites down on another one's foot and starts performing the death roll in order to snap it off. No, keep the chicken only. You see the hand complex. That's something, example, some example to show you how incredible control have the crocodiles in the mouth, to close the mouth. The poor thing is left with a broken leg and now it's handicapped for life. If you think that this was by mistake, well, let it be clear that there have been many reported cases of cannibalism amongst these animals. To help the ferocity of the death roll and not let it be left underrated, take this clip right here as an example. The croc grabbed hold of its face and spun around destroying the poor zebra's entire face. The poor animal is still alive. I can't begin to imagine the amount of pain that zebra must be going through. Although helpful for the crocodiles, it is because of this role that some animals end up being eaten alive, like this zebra. Another showcase of this powerful weapon. This sanctuary holds hundreds of fully grown crocs within itself. Looks like it's feeding time and these guys look hungry. How hungry? Well, one of these guys, like previously, grabs hold of another one's foot and starts spinning around, tearing off the entire foot of the unsuspecting crocodile. <laughs> this is also yet another example of the cannibalistic traits that reside within these animals. If you're still having some sort of doubt about how strong these saltwater crocs are, well, I would say you're not thinking right. Water buffaloes, as I said before, are huge. An average one weighing more than a ton and with horns to boast about. One of these buffaloes makes it into the water further than the rest, making the worst decision of his life. A lone croc jumps right at the buffalo and has it between its teeth. Mind you, the croc is in the water too, meaning he does not have proper grip either. While fighting the buffalo and that too in the water, he successfully pulls it down into its grave. Lions don't really fare well with the crocodiles either. The two royalties of nature often clash with each other, although mostly without an undeclared winner. But it's not to be ignored that crocs also meddle with these big cats, especially when in scenarios like this. Just like the lions, leopards are also one of the biggest threats to crocodiles. Not only because they share food sources, but also because they are both direct threats to each other. Leopards are not afraid to swim, unlike lions, and also share the water sometimes with the crocs. This leopard knew what was up and kept his distance, knowing he could be in danger as long as he's in the water. However, tables can turn very quickly in the animal kingdom. As I said, these animals are direct threats to each other, and this leopard shows us how. A straight shot from the top of the bank and onto an unsuspecting croc, this leopard makes a clean kill and drags the croc back on land. I wasn't lying now, was I? All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do smash that like button if this video was to your liking. Comment down below what you think about today's video. Subscribe to our channel if this is the sort of video that you like to watch. See you soon in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.